fiddleheads or fiddlehead greens, are the furled fronds of a young fern, harvested for use as a vegetable. Left on the plant, each fiddlehead would unroll into a new frond, circinate vernation. As fiddleheads are harvested early in the season before the frond has opened and reached its full height, they are cut fairly close to the ground. Hello everyone today we are about fiddleheads so let's get started. Fiddleheads from brackens contain a compound associated with bracken toxicity and thiaminase. Fiddleheads from ostrich fern contains thiaminase. The fiddlehead resembles the curled ornamentation, called a scroll, on the end of a stringed instrument, such as a fiddle. It is also called a crozier, after the curved staff used by bishops, which has its origins in the shepherd's crook. The fiddleheads of certain ferns are eaten as a cooked leaf vegetable. Available seasonally, fiddleheads are both foraged and commercially harvested in spring. When picking fiddleheads, it is recommended to take only one-third the tops per plant slash cluster for sustainable harvest. Each plant produces several tops that turn into fronds, repeated overpicking will eventually kill the plant. Maintaining sustainable harvesting methods is important in the propagation of any non-farmed food species. Fiddleheads have been part of traditional diets in much of northern France since the beginning of the Middle Ages, across Asia, citation needed, and also among Native Americans for centuries, they are also part of the diet in the Russian Far East where they are often picked in the wild in autumn, preserved in salt over winter, and then consumed in spring. Fiddleheads are low in sodium, but rich in potassium, many ferns also contain the enzyme thiaminase, which breaks down thiamine. This can lead to beriberi, if consumed in extreme excess, further, there is some evidence that certain varieties of fiddleheads, e.g. bracken, pteridium genus, are toxic, it is recommended to fully cook fiddleheads to destroy the shikimic acid, ostrich fern, Metuchia struthiopterus, is not thought to cause cancer, although there is evidence. Thanks for watching the full video. Stay tuned by subscribing the channel for more such videos.